All right, everybody. Well, welcome to our live cast of the TF2 Pug Cup. We have Power Rangers versus Hollywood Superstars. I'm Mr. Slynn, joined here by Fog. Hey guys, what's up? And we should have a good match today. Yeah, we do have a really good match here tonight. We have uh, Hollywood Superstars and Power Rangers. This is going to be the grand finals for the TFT Pug tournament. This is the lower level bracket in terms of two terms that we're running for TFT.pug and TFT.pug today. We have a grand total prize pool of over $400 here. With uh, the first place winners getting $175, and then we have the second place team here getting $125. The third team, team which was already uh, decided yesterday, was Old School Ballas, I believe it was, who came away with $100 for their team. Wow. Well, that's great that uh, TF2 has some cash prizes going around, and uh. Yeah, it's definitely great. I'd like to thank our sponsors in our command channel who were able to help us out with the tournament and stuff like that, for paying all the uh, prizes to sort out and everything like that. Just being like super chill, people overall. Um, we're gonna briefly go over the rosters here before we begin. For the Hollywood superstars, we have Brad Pitt on Medic. Anthony Hopkins on Romer, Robert De Niro as your scout, with uh, Liam Neeson as his partner, Kate Back as the pocket, and Steve Buscemi as demo. For the Power Rangers, we have Stinger PA on Medic, White Power Jesus on demo, your pocket soldier is Frozen, and the Romer soldier is Bo, and then the two scouts are NJA and Power Mangoes. And, uh, both of these teams have played in ESA Open this season, and they both did pretty well. Yeah, Power Rangers actually had a 12-4 record, and then we have uh, PC season friends. I believe they had an, uh, a 9-7 and or 8-8 and record. I'll double-check with you really quick there. With P uh, PC season friends, we actually casted uh, la last week on uh, Process, but they uh, ended up losing to uh, their opponents. I can't remember which team they go up and went up against, but they weren't, they weren't successful in making the playoffs with that. Hmm. Alright, well we should be going live in a few moments here. So, um, you know, can you tell us a little bit, for those of us who have been following the, uh, the TF2 Cup, uh, TF2 Pug Cup, you know, a little bit about how it's going and, uh, what was the format of it, and how these teams got to be here? Certainly. So, the, the tournament format that we had for the TF2 Pug tournament, the lower level one, we had a round robin system where uh, it was eight, eight uh, groups of four teams, each team playing three matches on separate maps, with the uh, top two players from each or top two teams from uh, each uh, bracket or pool, you could say, going on to the single elimination uh, playoffs. So the single elimination playoffs had 16 teams, and we've gone all the way down to two. Wow. We already had our third place match uh, against uh, with. Uh, KCB and Old School Ballers going with uh, Old School Ballers coming away with the uh, best of three victory, two games to none. As if you don't know about the map, uh, the format for this uh, grand finals, we're gonna have a best of three match. So the first map is going to be on Badlands, with the second map going to be on Snake Water, and then if there's the need for a third map, we will be playing on Gullywash. All in all, this should be a very interesting match to see here. As these two teams have been uh, practically uh, going straight into the, uh, doing a good job with their playoffs so far. Hollywood Superstars actually was a last minute replacement for another team that we could not allow to play in the uh, tournament due to uh, the, some, with some rules we had to deal with. So they came in on as the 16th seed and they've been coming on pretty strong. And they were able to beat the first seed and then move on up to uh, the grand finals now. Power Rangers hmm. have been uh, pretty much been doing pretty well. Uh, there has been many rounds they've lost overall, but all in all, this should be a really good match to watch and could be a good series of matches. That's for sure. Yeah, you know it's always great to watch some tournaments that aren't ESCA. Are they using the ESCA rules? Uh, yes, the uh, rules are pretty much standard for ESCA. Uh, the only exception is that there's only one. There's like you can only have one of each off class, like one engineer, one demo, one spy, one sniper. Because it's pretty much following the TF2 Pug rules mm. that we have on our Pug server. We're actually playing on the Pug servers right now. So that's we have like the STVs uploaded automatically along the logs and stuff like that. That's great. So 
we should be going live shortly here. I've given them the go ahead to go live, which is waiting on whatever to go happen. We have twelve of the server, both play, all the teams are on the all the players are on the proper teams. I'll actually yeah, just make sure that everything is ready to go. It's kind of funny when you ever think when you think about finals and tournaments. It's always Badlands, right? I mean, what kind of tournament wouldn't have Badlands? But uh, I like I like Gully Wash in there as well. And uh, did you say what was the second map? The second map was Snake Water. Snake Water. It's interesting that you know they didn't have for the third map like a like a King of the Hill or a stopwatch option. It's like a. For a lot of these tournaments, they tend to use Gravel Pit because it's a really good tiebreaker, as you're basically guaranteed a winner. Uh, same with Viaduct or. We actually used Gravel. We actually used Gravel Pit during uh, one of our rounds. Like we used it for the uh, semi-finals, so we probably could use it in the playoff in the finals when playing the same map two weeks in a row would probably be stale. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry for the console coming up here. I'm just checking my buttons. We should be good. And uh, <laughs> it's funny. Before the match, uh, Power Mangoes told me the colors of all the players as well. <laughs> because as you know, the Power Rangers have uh, colors like you know green, black, and yellow. But I'll save you guys from hearing what they are. <laughs> and same with the. Uh, same with the Hollywood superstars, they all have, you know, these names that we're gonna have to call them, but they're not actually called that outside of these matches. Yeah, it'll, it'll provide to be some fun entertainment for all the people that are watching this. Well, I just like that it's themed, and both these teams pick, you know, themed names. <laughs> yeah, I like that. We have, uh, like, the two themed teams going up against each other, with Power Rangers and the Hollywood superstars. It's kind of hard to, you know, root for a specific team, you know, because, yeah, I used to watch Power Rangers when I was young, and uh, but I'm also a fan of these Hollywood superstars. I live in L.A., so, like, I can't decide, you know, based on the theming, which team I should vote for. I'll... It's true, Brad Pitt is pretty hot, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder who said that. <laughs> Uh, I actually haven't had a chance to see the Power Rangers play, have you? Um, they played the, the season in uh, DSCA along with the, uh, their opponents here in Hollywood Superstars. Uh, I actually haven't had a chance to really see them play, but I have seen, uh, I have seen Hollywood Superstars play. They, after our first half on Gravel Pit, that wasn't really the best. They were able to come back and, uh, take the final two rounds, uh, to beat uh, their opponents and make it to the Grand Finals. I believe it was against uh, KCB they were going up against. I um, I used to play with uh, one of the players on the Power Rangers, Power Mangoes, who renamed himself, renamed himself to Peter Ur Mangoes, <laughs> and um, but I've heard that Power Mangoes is actually an extremely good scout now, and that the team is overall just very strong. So they should prove to be quite a challenge for Hollywood superstars. All right, it looks like we're gonna be going live here pretty shortly. All the uh, final uh, configuration settings are going up, with possible going to one and changing the time limit to thirty. So everything should look like it's gonna be starting pretty shortly. All the, both teams are saying having good luck, have fun. So it looks like it's definitely starting up. Do you want to start with some predictions? Um, I think I'm gonna see. Uh, I think Power Rangers are probably able to take this uh, five to two over uh, Hollywood Superstars on mm, okay. the first map. I will go with a 5-3 prediction in favor of Power Rangers, so we'll see how this one ends up. You want to take the first mid? Uh, sure. So we have both devils taking the uh, standard house roll out here, and it, there's scouts are going to... Soul Disruptor again, there's on oh, take down the medic and stick PA for Power Rangers, but it's right away that we have two, two down right now for uh, Hollywood, three down for Hollywood Superstars, and it looks like Hollywood Superstars should be backing out here. And uh, Power Rangers doing a nice job cleaning up this mid here. It's only Robert De, De Niro alive who's backing out to his last point. And uh, Power, Ran Power Rangers, you know, very aggressive early on. And they should be able to take the second point here uncontested. Yeah, they took kind of it under contested there, and they did lose their they lost their medic though. So uh, the Uber advantages for both teams are gonna be even here. What that means, I think they're they're gonna have a bit of a stalemate here in terms of like. 
pushing in because they don't. They have all, both teams have six players per e, per, and it seems like they're actually on defense. They're running a heavy, so that means they're going to be staying here for a long haul. A soldier bomb in by Bo, trying to get the medic pick, but unable to do so. And uh, Power Rangers it was a nice heads up play by them. They were just they knew they were going to be in that stalemate like you were talking about, and so they decided to just sack a player. Uh. For the Hollywood Superstars, we see a sniper on the top left as well as a heavy, so interesting choice to go heavy instead of an engineer. It, it, it is more mobile than the uh, than the engineer in terms of sentry, in terms of placement of like where the gun is located. They're also running a sniper here with uh, Liam Neeson going sniper here for uh, Hollywood Superstars. Hopefully they'll get, if, if everything goes to play, they'll probably get a good pick and they'll be able to push out at this last point. We see Bo off-classing to heavy, which is... Uh, quite different. You, you typically don't see heavies pushing this last point, but it's going to ensure that Hollywood superstars have a hard time pushing out a last. Here we see the combo moving in for the Power Rangers getting very aggressive on this top side, popping Uber and forcing the second Uber as Ubers go down for both teams. Frozen jumps up to face the heavy, but Robert Dino takes him out cleanly and Stinger PA is able to get out into upper lobby. So not much going on for both teams. Actually two players go down, three players go down for Power Rangers. They were able to take out some of the Hollywood superstars, but they're going to be in trouble as Kate Bach moves to push that upper lobby. It looks like uh, Power Rangers here are actually falling back. They're conceding the uh, lobby. That was kind of a bad push on them because they, they lost four players there, which which is never a good thing when you're trying to push in the last. Fortunately for them, it looks like they have a good hold on the Spire and the Hollywood superstars are not in a position to uh, take it. They may try forward hold here. We see Kate Bach trying to push that battlements, and he's facing the other soldier there. Rocket's trading down for both of them, but nothing's coming of it. Even Uber for both teams. Power Mangoes goes down to Anthony Hopkins on the battlements, and Power Rangers positioning themselves on the battlements, making sure that Hollywood superstars cannot push out. Oh, but they dropped their pocket in Kate Bach, so that's that's gonna be a bad situation for them. And both soldiers pop and they forced the pop out of them, and it. Well, Uber's been popped for both sides here. Power Rangers with a better Uber, they're in position to take out the enemy combo here. It's only a demo man. Both soldiers spamming him down, both takes him out. And Power Rangers moving into last point here. Power Mangle's getting very aggressive on Brad Pitt, takes him out easily. And it's only two players up for Hollywood Superstars. Power Rangers takes it up 1 0. That was a pretty costly uh, drop there of one of their players. When they had, they both had the Uber badge. They had all the soldiers coming in from uh, Power Rangers onto the battlements there, and they just lost their soldier instantly. They didn't have, they didn't have the heal beam on uh, Kate Bach there, so that that might have lost them the round there. Watching the second mid, Steve Buscemi getting there earlier than White Power, and we see he gets taken out early by Power Mangoes, as Hollywood Superstar is just melting here at mid. Power Rangers in a huge power position. Fog, what happened there? It just seemed like they weren't really being aggressive enough there, and they they just like they weren't able to get all the damage up with them when they needed. And they had, it's practically a full wipe here for uh, Hollywood superstars with only Brad Pitt staying alive. He's already back at their last. Now it's just getting spawns from uh, uh, with his team. Power Rangers. So trying to hold on to the defense here. They're gonna try a forward hold by the looks of it. That's probably a good play by them. They need to stall for another 20 seconds, another 15 seconds if they want to get this Uber. Brad Pitt's already pulling back to last though, 85%. He's going to get it in time. And Power Rangers able to move into the upper lobby, preparing for their push. And another even last push again. Yeah, we're going to have another stalemate here, which is going to be kind of... Uh, it should be interesting to see what Power Rangers is doing here. Their, their last push wasn't really so successful, so let's hope that they're going to be having a better time this time with their uh, pushes. Oh, Bo comes in for that bomb again for Brad Pitt. Almost takes him out. He actually is only at 30 health, but then... Uh, Brad Pitt able to get out and resup. Bo likely to switch to heavy again that we just saw last time. And uh, Hollywood superstars are gonna have to change their strategy if they want to be able to hold last. You actually, have a spy here going here from Bo, so this is gonna be an interesting thing to watch. I keep my eyes out on Bo. This is gonna be uh, he's gonna try to most likely go for the uh, medic pick and get the uh, make the mm -hmm. Uber drop for the medic. We're watching Power Mangoes shooting off the stickies off the last point and actually, aha. Uh -huh, uh, Nice spot by Steve Buscemi, replaces the stickies. We're watching Bo now, the spy cam, moving into last with, I believe he's using the invis the normal invisibility watch. Looks to go for the pocket, let's see what he's going to go for. Yes, he goes take takes out the pocket very easily there, and uh, <laughs> Steve Buscemi did not dead his trap. 
And now it's Power Rangers, their turn to push into last. Frozen okay. sees the Sticky Trap, pops early, and doesn't get a force on Brad Pitt, now finally gets a force on him. Frozen's on the last point, blocked nicely by Brad Pitt, and Bo's still on Spy, hiding behind those stairs. Lots of players going down for Power Rangers, and uh, Hollywood Superstar is in a good position here. Power Man goes nice cap, and Bo able to back cap that last point. That was a nice play there from Bo. He realized that he wasn't really spotted the first time around. They, they didn't put any damage on him after he got, his, uh, after he got the pocket soldier, so he went in for a second helping, and, and the second helping helped him out there, making getting the backstab on the heavy that he was on the point, and they were able to capture, the, capture that round. Yeah, it's almost like the Hollywood superstars forgot that there was a spy somewhere. <laughs> We're watching, watching the third middle Power Rangers leading 2-0 and early jump by Bo onto the choke, doesn't really get anything there. White Power Jesus getting a nice kill onto Anthony Hopkins. Both teams playing this mid very passively which is favoring Power Rangers as both the scouts get a frag and Brad Pitt forced to back out. The Hollywood Superstar should be playing more aggressive in a, in a situation like this. The passive play right now is not working for them. It doesn't seem like anything is working right in terms of the passive play. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hollywood Superstar is trying to hold that trash though, but that, that Frozen takes out Brad Pitt and that's going to be disastrous for the Hollywood Superstars here. Power Rangers taking out Steve Buscemi as well and pushing on the bottom right, although already pushing last. And early force there, but it shouldn't mean anything. Liam Neeson on Pyro right now, trying to air blast the combo. Frozen doing good damage onto the soldier. Kate Bach goes down, Liam goes down, and 3-0 Power Rangers. That was just a quick... Quick round for Power Rangers. It looked like Brad Pitt actually dropped his Uber there, or he, uh, he was very close to Uber by the by the looks of it. it. Just, it's just a bad. It was a he was in a bad situation there. He probably yeah. should have backed out and just they, contested the spire. Yeah, they the tried. They tried to contest the spire, but they were just a little too overextended. They didn't realize how fast Frozen was becoming in. Anyway, we're watching the fourth mid fight here as Power Rangers have won the last three mids. They're winning 3-0 right now. Steve Buscemi getting a nice early pick on the NJA. And Mangos though takes out Brad Pitt and Bo gets Robert De Niro. So trades going down for both teams. More fragging classes for the Hollywood Superstars, but they already backed out in the house. The soldier coming in gets taken out very easily by Frozen. And both soldiers trying to bomb now. It's only Steve Buscemi alive and he's already backed out in the house. Power Rangers able to take this fourth mid. They're losing their medic practically almost every single mid. It's not a good, it's definitely not a good situation. They don't have to, when they don't have to yield on the point, they're most likely going to lose that middle capture point. Yeah, Power Rangers are just in control of these middle points. Uh, they're, they're almost winning every single DM fight. So even though the, uh, a couple of mid Steve Buscemi beat White Power, Jesus to uh, mid, it doesn't make a difference. Anthony Hopkins takes out Power Mangoes in the bottom left corner here. And that's not going to mean anything as Stinger PA is only at 10% Uber. A sentry going down the top left by ne Liam Neeson, level 2. And Power Mangoes off classes to Sniper. It's, it's, it looks like Power Rangers are just are really content with just holding on to this point, making sure they don't lose any more rounds because they're having both the Heavy and the Engineer, so they're going to have a lot of damage output to protect their last point. And with Mangoes going Sniper here, he's going to try and force either the Medic to go down or take down one of the Heavy classes. Power Mangoes getting to take down the sentry down there. Yeah, and, and that would ordinarily be a time to push, but they do have Power Mangoes off classing the sniper, and uh, I think they're better off getting a pick right now. Power Mangoes just chilling in lower lobby. Let's see what he'll be able to get from this main entrance. He's looking at the top right, not able to see anything. The heavy is chilling back in spawn. Power getting a buff here and trying to pick that top left side. But uh, Kate Bach like knows it's coming. I uh, scouts tried to clear off the stickies so they could get like a quick little capture thing into it, but the devil's actually able to put the stickies up and it, it's turning them up faster than he could take them down. Yeah, it's a nice play if, if you're catching them off guard, but it's it's not something that you're gonna win on. Mangos almost had a good sightline on the medic there, but he was just it wasn't able to uh, hit the shot there at the end of the day. Yeah, Hollywood Superstars the are mechanic. doing a nice job of spot. You know, they know there's a sniper. They're playing out of the sp sniper lines for the most part, and they're doing. And when Power is in uh, a sniper line, they're spamming him out right away. But Power Mango's getting it, an angle on the top left gets Brad Pitt down to 30 health before getting spammed out. He wasn't quite able to get that shot onto Brad Pitt going in for a second one. No, 
Hollywood Superstars again. Nice job spamming out Power Mangoes, not giving him any chance to get a real angle that he wants. Power Mangoes goes down to a roller there, and uh, that's going to hold off this push. That's an unfortunate situation for Mangoes there. I was watching his point of view the entire time there, and he should have been able to see that uh, see that roller come again. But it looks like Mangoes is actually going to switch over his off classes. Now he's going to be switching over the spy. Now, this is another time to watch the spy can here, uh, Mr. Slim. This is... They, the last time they ran spy, they were running with Bo at the uh, spy. And he was able to actually uh, get a good pick onto the uh, pocket soldier and the heavy to capture that point. I actually like the decision to go spy as a scout instead of the roamer because the soldier is so much better on this last point. Just with the height advantage and spamming down. We see Power Mangoes uncloaking behind the stairs. Looks at the medic. The medic knows he's there though. Gets a face stab onto Steve Buscemi, and that's going to be a trouble for Hollywood Superstars. They don't have any stickies on the point here, and the po Uber's trading in for both teams. Hollywood Superstars having to split onto their Heavy, who joined the fight as well, and Power Mangoes able to cap that last point. Oh, uh, everything is just not going so well for uh, Hollywood Superstars at this point. They have, they've had to, the Spy has been successful in both the times they've run the Spy. They're able, he was able to get the backstab on the demo, it was more of a face stab by the looks of it. And we see here uh, that we have Power Rangers going Valley rollout, and same thing with uh, Hollywood Superstars here. It looks like uh, Steve Buscemi is, is actually just content with holding back and not really like being super aggressive on there. There hasn't been really any deaths for either team so far. Finally, we see uh, Steve Buscemi moving up there as we see Power Mangoes uh, taking down K Bot. And we get Liam Nielsen returning the favor, taking out Mangoes. It's really interesting. White Power is doing this choke rollout. It's a little bit slower than normal, but it's very safe. And they did a really nice job of preventing Hollywood Superstars from getting out of that valley. They stuffed them completely. Power Mangoes jumped in to finish that off. Watching Bo now, as he moves in, takes out Liam Neeson, trades Steve Buscemi, takes him out. Power, Man uh, Power Mangoes getting really aggressive as well. But <laughs> on the medic right now, actually on side spire, Brad Pitt goes down and... Oh, uh, it looks, looks like we see that... Uh... It was in fact a 5-0 roll for that first map. Now we're going to be moving on to the secondary map. I'm going to actually let them know, I'm going to let uh, the admins know not to cha make sure they change the map for two minutes after because we're currently running a two minute STB delay. On that last push there, on, the, on that, uh, after the middle point deck, we actually saw Power Rangers go behind the combo going through Valley, catching them off guard and they were to get down the medic and everything. For, before they actually switch the maps here, which is kind of unfortunate to say the least, that they switched the maps when we still had a few minutes to watch. Yeah, you know, it never looked like Power, like, uh, like Power Rangers ever lost control of that match. They won every single mid and they just finished it off nice and clean. It was really good play by them. And they're looking especially dominant going into the second map here. It seems almost that Hollywood superstars are getting uh, a little bit out DM'd and they're feeling the pressure. So hopefully it'll go better for them on Snake Water. It'll give them a chance that they can get aggressive. They can jump their soldiers into the enemy team. That'll be good. But uh, Power Rangers are doing a nice job in the last few mids, especially stuffing Hollywood. And, you know, they didn't give them a chance to really fight that mid. The Power Rangers are just... They're over, like you said, they're overpowering the team right now, and it kind of shows with the score right now. It's five. It was five zero for that first match. Mm -hmm. See, both, seems like both of us kind of overestimated uh, how the uh, the overall score. We saw myself. I, I gave a five two score for uh, Power Rangers, and you gave him a five three. So uh, we, although we caught our we got the team that was going to win, our scores were kind of way off. Maybe it's just, uh, you know, typical casters being hopeful for a good match, but... I, ho I was hopeful for a good match, too. Hopefully this next... I continue on to the hopeful streak. I'm hoping that this next match is going to be uh, quite a closer match than the first match, since it's on snake water. And I apologize for my uh, voice as it is today. I'm, I'm kind of under the weather at this point, so I'm not able to put out as much of a voice as I want to today. <laughs> That's quite alright. Uh, I'm just glad to have you here. And uh, doing a solo cast is, you know, pretty hard to do, so... Yeah, solo casts are not fun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even dr dream of doing a solo cast by myself. I'm just... I'm just awful at solo casting. <laughs> but, um... 
Power Power Rangers are actually uh, a solid team in ESC right now. You know, they're one of the top ranked teams there, and they're really showing their dominance on this match. Uh, you know, as you said, Hollywood is actually most of the members from an ESC Open team, and their record isn't quite as good, and they, you know, they don't seem to have that same polish that uh, Power Rangers are having in the pushes and in the execution on mid, and. The one time that Hollywood tried to push out last, they you know they're unsuccessful, uh, as you saw you know losing that pocket soldier on battlements and Power Rangers yeah. are doing a nice job of just executing and they're stacking in one player and then waiting nice and patiently for that pick before doing anything. Yeah, all the opportunities that they had to capitalize, they just weren't able to actually capitalize on their battles of opportunities. It seemed, it definitely shows that Power Rangers is the better team both on the ESCA rankings and in, and in, over, in these uh, actual matches so far. Despite the fact that both, uh, despite the fact that uh, Super Hollywood superstars are having pretty much an easy time going in through the uh, single elimination brackets, they actually had a close game against their opponents in KCB. They, it, was it was eventually a 2-1 victory on Gravel Pit for Hollywood superstars that got them into the Grand Finals. Now, for those of you guys who are just joining us now, we're, we're currently watching uh, the TF2 Pug uh, single elimination grand finals w between uh, Power Rangers and Hollywood Superstars. Uh, the, what's up for grabs in this match tonight is for first place, whoever wins is it's $175 for the team. For second, whoever loses this match will get $125 for the second place prize. Now, we already had our third place bronze match uh, between Old School Ballas and KCB, which saw Old School Ballas coming away with a uh, 2-0 victory, or two maps to none over KCB. If you're interested in how this uh, whole format came out, we had a round robin bracket, which had eight, uh, eight groups of four, uh, four teams. We had to play three, there was three matches that was played, and the, and the top two teams from each, each one, or each bracket pool, were advanced to the single elimination bracket. You having some so, mic difficulties over there? I'm having some, not some mic difficulties, I'm having some voice, nasal congestion difficulties. <laughs> I'm just, it's it's kind of hard for me to talk with right now, especially for being super long-winded like that. It's just awful uh, for my sinuses. I apologize. Is um, I I'm apologize myself. You know, it's um, I'm you know I'm actually really impressed with what we saw at the last uh, match from Power Mangoes. I really think that he did a really good job because his DM is just so much stronger than uh, than what we're seeing, and he's actually just destroying the other team and a lot of moments just key med picks and the sniper skills on last weren't as strong as I hoped they would be but uh, the spy play definitely came through with a huge demo pick so yeah Bankles has actually been pretty, playing pretty well so far and but it looks like though that uh the whole, overall the Hollywood superstars have been performing much better than their Hollywood star superstars uh, companions <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe after the, if this second match keeps with the same pace as the first match, maybe they should keep their day jobs and uh, stick to acting. Yeah, they make a lot more money out of acting than playing TF2. I don't understand why they're playing TF2. It must be it's, there's no, there's not really so much money in for this. It's just <laughs> there I are mean, cash prizes can, though. They are winning yeah, money. Yeah, there, there are cash prizes though. We have 175 dollars for first place, 125 dollars from second place. But I mean, when you're making millions of dollars for making films, TM, this is just seems like a hobby. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I mean, they're just doing this for fun. But we all are. <laughs> While we're waiting for this match to actually start, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors with Command Channel, uh, who have helped, who have uh, provided us with a thousand dollars overall with our with our prize to pool with, for the upper and lower brackets of the uh, TF2 Plug and TF2 Plug and A tournaments. 
We have with uh we have six hundred dollars for the first or uh, for the upper bracket for the total prize pool, four hundred for the second bracket. I'd also like to give a shout out to all the teams that have been competing in this uh whole in the tournament for the upper and lower brackets. They people there hasn't been much uh all the matches have pretty much been played. There has been much uh, forfeit wins for the lower bracket, that's for sure. So we'd like to give a shout I'd like to give a shout out to them. Yeah, and as well as all the uh TF two pug admins, I know Aristotle played a huge role in Getting the sponsors and also other admins such as Fog for uh, oh. making this happen. So, why well, thank you? It's been a good series thus far, and uh, if you guys are just catching us right now, it's the grand finals between the two teams here, Power Rangers and Hollywood Superstars. And we're just waiting for this second map to begin. Power Rangers took the first map 5-0, and pre it was pretty convincing actually. A very short match. Yeah, it was pretty convincing, a 5-0 victory for uh, Power Rangers. Let's hope uh, that this one's actually slightly more interesting than the first match, because it was just a complete <laughs> roll for uh, Power Rangers the first time yeah. around. I don't think the Hollywood Superstars capped a single point that last match, so... Uh, uh, really hoping this map ends up better. <laughs> I Yeah, we, had, we see uh, Ninja here actually commenting on the uh, avatars for, uh, for the uh, Hollywood Superstars while they actually have... Uh, yeah. Some of their theme soup uh, stuff. Oh, yeah, they're both like they're themed very well. Here. Yeah. Um, we are live now. Okay, so. I'm gonna keep an eye on this first mid on Stinger PA because if Hollywood Superstars are doing it right, hopefully they're going to bomb Medic and he'll be under a lot of pressure. We'll, we'll see what's gonna happen here as. Blue team rolls up to mid, and actually Power Rangers are getting very aggressive once again, but Bo actually getting a little too aggressive, gets picked off by Steve Buscemi, and K-Bok trying to take out that upper ground, takes out NJA. Hollywood Superstar is actually winning this first mid. Uh, Power Rangers got a little too aggressive on that last mid, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that was a little bit too, too much aggressive on their part, but at the same time, Power Rangers, or not Power Rangers, Hollywood Superstar has actually showed the kind of uh, controlled aggression that you need on a map like Snakewater. They actually they got there faster than Power Rangers, so it seems like this is more of their map in comparison to Power Rangers. Hmm. Both teams at even Ubers right now and waiting for the respawns. We see uh we see the Power Rangers here just holding on to the second point with the medic. I don't think the medic should be standing where he's standing at this point. He's kind of pr he's kind of open to uh Either like some bombs if they if they decide to send either a devil man or a soldier in there. He, <laughs> is that, if is any, that, uh, I just like to point out a really funny uh, situation here. Bo is actually up in this tree in the yard. I've never seen that position before. He, I, I would never guess to see him, and he's actually if you look at the camera, he's very difficult to spot, especially the way that the Power Rangers are positioned. So maybe uh, that plays into the positioning of Stinger PA. Possibly. Anthony, it doesn't seem like anybody's noticed him so far. Yeah, Anthony Hopkins comes in for a bomb and fails to do so, and Power Rangers looks to move off of that. Uh, moving through the saw room here, Kate Bach is in position though, forces Power Rangers and gets a second uber. He gets a nice rocket onto White Power, but uh, there's a lot of flashing going down for Power Rangers. Hollywood Superstars with a better uber here. NJ takes out Liam Neeson though, actually Power Rangers somehow converting on the flank. Mangos takes out Robert De Niro and two players down for the Hollywood Superstars. Three players down as White Power Jesus gets a nice frag there in the saw room and Hollywood Superstars got completely wiped. Wow, that's a complete turn of events here. It's kind of they forced uh, Power Rangers were able to force the Uber out for uh, for Hollywood Superstars and it, it just it kind of seemed like a dominoes effect from there. They were, they lost all their players and now they're going to be forced to hold last. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of a uh, situation like that. it looks like they already got heavy. And it looks like they might be running a sniper as well after when Lee Neeson spots in 9 seconds. Yeah, we're watching now as the uh, Hollywood Superstars try and defend their last point here. Power Rangers again in the control, just as we saw in the last match. And let's see, they're trying to move on that right side here on the shutter door. There is a sticky trap there, so Frozen is forced to pop early. And Frozen getting some good damage onto the heavy. Brad Pitt does not have his uber yet, having a, having trouble taking him out actually, and finally the heavy goes down as well as the a soldier and a scout for Hollywood, and Frozen body blocks them off the boys though. Good first round to Power Rangers. Oh, I actually have cleared my sinuses a bit there, so that's hopefully I'll be a bit better off now. <laughs> uh, 
so this time hopefully Hollywood's going to be able to convert uh, their victory on mid and we see Steve Buscemi again rolling out to middle he's beating out white power Jesus so this time maybe they have the chance to win again uh, power, power is again jumping some early soldiers and they are able to take out Brad Pitt nice rocket by Bo we are watching as NJA takes out Robert De Niro, Mangos takes out Kate Bach, and Power Rangers again getting very aggressive off the power of their scouts. Mangos goes down, but White Power Jesus takes out Anthony Hopkins, and it's only Liam Neeson left alive. He comes out the kitchen, tries to get some sort of pick there, but NJA takes him out. That was uh, nice of the nice of them for uh, Power Rangers. They got the height advantage that they needed. They were what they weren't able to get the first time around, and it, it really showed that with their DM strength that they're able to uh, get a complete wipeout. And it looks like they're actually going to be forcing straight in the last, going into the right hand side. I don't think they're, uh, we have the other team completely set up. And oh, the soldier goes flying with the sticky traps. That was hilarious to watch. Yeah, Robert Dino with nice juggling him in the air. NJ takes out Brad Pitt though, and Anthony Hopkins trying to shotgun this other soldier here, but Frozen takes him out. Bo gets Anthony Hopkins, and oh my gosh, <laughs> Power Rangers again. A victory on last, and none of the players went down for that team, so... Oh, uh, this is starting to look like more and more like the uh, first match on Badlands. We could actually see another 5-0 here, and then they could play themselves $175. Yeah, um, uh, Brad Pitt actually recognizes that, you know, they're not doing so well, and he switches to Kritzkrieg, and Kr Kr Kritzkrieg is actually a lot more valuable on this map than it is on Badlands, so this will be good for them. We see NJA trying to play that roof area. The Soldier Bomb's coming in again. One rocket gets on to Singer PA, but he's going to live. And on the other side, Power Rangers getting very aggressive. Again, the scouts, so much power there, taking out all of the scouts for the other team. And Power Rangers again winning middle point. We see Power Rangers moving through that saw room very quickly. Brad Pitt has an Uber now. Has that Crits Creek, actually, sorry. And he's going to have to try and crits on to Steve Buscemi. Let's see what that happens with that crits. He gets Stinger PA, actually. But not before Brad Pitt goes down himself, and now it's just a DM battle between Power Rangers and the Hollywood Superstars. Lots of Superstars going down, and Power Rangers 2v1ing the scout on the battlements there. Soldier comes in, Bo comes in to finish him off, and it's only Liam Neeson again on last. Despite the, they dropped their medic there for uh, Power Rangers, but despite all that, they were able to rely on the DM, and it just showed that their DM is much stronger than uh, uh, the Hollywood Superstars here. <laughs> the soldiers able to capture that point, which would make, make it 3 0 for Power Rangers. This is definitely starting to look like one of those uh, roles that we saw in the first map on Badlands. I apologize, I've been calling NJA. His, actually, his name is actually Ninja, so sorry about that. But both Ninja and Power Mangos have been playing very well on these mid fights here. Right, we are. So we're looking at this mid here. Steve Pusebi is starting to try and trap up the rest of the team uh, for Power Rangers. And it looks like we're getting some height advantage here for uh, Power Rangers and the soldiers trying to get something out down on the medic, but it doesn't seem like he's able to get anything down. We actually see two, play two players from each team going out with Power Frozen and Power Mangos going down. Three, four, five down. It's just a medic up for, uh, for Power Rangers and it looks like it's going to be a, a near wipe here for Power Rangers. Hollywood Superstars are able to capture this point and they're, they're moving straight into this uh, second point with uh, Anthony Hopkins trying to capture the medic in, in the hallway. And it looks like he's actually able to get Oh! oh Stinger PA! Stinger nice PA. arrow there from Stinger PA! Yeah, and uh, it was a very good mid by uh, Hollywood Superstars, finally able to turn it around. You know, the, uh, the Power Rangers have been going aggressive on every single mid, jumping both their soldiers up onto those battlements, or up onto that high ground. And Hollywood Superstars able to react this time, able to take out those soldiers very early on, and then they were able to just roll off of that. Um, this is actually going to give uh, Power Rangers the... Uh, Uber, the 100% Uber, which leaves Brad Pitt with only 50%, so they're going to be able to hold off on defense for a good while, and Snake Water is notoriously hard for be pushing into last. It's also notoriously hard for pushing out of last, too, so it's kind of one of those situations that it's going to be a hard, it's going to be a hard read for both teams. Uh, and now that Brad Pitt is getting close to Uber, we should be seeing some sort of you know, play coming out of the Hollywood Superstars, maybe sacrificing for a sniper is very good because this last point is so large, really favors sniper play. Uh, we've also seen some sacrifice plays on Snakewater that are very successful as well. But, um, right now, both teams just chilling out, evening out the Ubers, and now we see 
Hollywood superstars finally getting their own Uber, and they're not going to go for a sacrifice play here. I guess they're going to begin moving in this upper lobby towards Looks the. Like actually going to the right side. And Brad Pitt's just holding on battlements here, so maybe we might see some sort of play after all. A shot's coming up. There's the suicide, so we're probably going to see a sniper try to come in now. But uh, Frozen takes out Steve Buscemi, and he trades for Frozen. This is actually not a bad situation for Power Rangers. They could push out if they wanted to. There's no demo man, no traps for Hollywood Superstars, and they are beginning to move into that upper lobby here, spamming out the cheese on the right side. And Brad Pitt goes down and drops his Uber. Stinger PA pops his own, and uh, he's only on a demo man, though. He's having a hard time finishing off Kate Bach. It finally goes down. And uh, Power Rangers, with a successful push out here, possibly, Steve Buscemi takes out Bo, though, on the point. There is no heals, no medic right now for the Hollywood Superstars. The bomb comes in on Singer PA. He gets taken out by Liam Neeson. Nice, Tom. There was an attempt to back cap there, but they were able to capitalize with the heavy just sitting on the point there. And Liam Neeson actually beginning to move into that last point, staying on scout instead of off-classing. Trying to face the heavy one-on-one. -on -one. He gets taken out. And Power Rangers not successfully pushing on this last here. There's too many respawns. And there, we, and there we go, we actually see uh, Hollywood Superstars taking the, the round there, so it's 3-1 right now for uh, Power Rangers on the second map of possibly 3. If, uh, if the uh, Hollywood Superstars are actually able to come back and win this one, we're going to see a third map on Gollywash. It was actually a really good last uh, sort of backwards leapfrog. I mean, Brad Pitt dropped his Uber, but they were able to recover from that, stop the second point, and push last. So. Great job by them, we're watching this midpoint here. Early bombs again from the Power Rangers, coming in, taking out Kate Bach and Brad Pitt. And this is going to be trouble for the Hollywood Superstars here. They trade some frags of their own, but Ninja doing a nice job taking out Anthony Hopkins. And Power Rangers in a good position here, leaving Ninja to cap the point and moving their combo through the right yard. And this is the same thing that we saw on the previous mids. Power Rangers getting aggressive again on the midpoints, but this time they're able to, you know, with early aggression over the top, able to take out the combo, so. Yeah, we're going to see a full, practically a full uber advantage here for Power Rangers, so they should be pushing in here, right? You know, on a situation like that, with the, with the Engineer and the Heavy out from uh, Hollywood Superstars, they should probably see them pushing out to the right, but it looks like they're actually pushing it to the left. And they're, and they're, ab actually, they're able to knock off Anthony Hopkins off the top there, the uber finally coming in for the Power Rangers, Mangos takes out Anthony Hopkins, Bo on the high ground there, sending down on the Heavy, he's going to go down. And only a sentry on the right side here as players swarming in to play the point. Frozen trying to win the top side there. Takes out Kate Bach. And now with the high ground on the last point, there's not much Hollywood Superstars can do here. And Power Rangers take that last point, bring it up to 4 1. And it is now halftime because with the way that our rules work for uh, TF2 Club and A, uh, we see it's good. It is, uh, we have it first of four. For the first half, and then the second half afterwards is the first of five. Yeah, Power Rangers again with the you know the dominant play that we've been seeing from the last map on uh, Badlands. They're winning 5-0 there, and now they're up 4-1 here on Snakewater. And gosh, you know that that aggressive play on mid it didn't work out in the last one, but it's worked for the other four. Yeah, it, it kind of seems like by the looks of it now, it looks like it was a pretty. Luck, lucky draw there for uh, Hollywood Superstars. They're able to capitalize on one of their mids. We're going to have to see more of that for them if they're able to have any chance of taking down the Power Rangers here. It's, al it's almost like it's coming down to a DM fight. I mean, uh, White Power Jesus isn't getting to mid quite as fast as Steve Buscemi, but at least he's getting some good damage when it, by the time he gets there. And then Power Rangers are doing a nice job of just pushing together as a team across the point. And that's what you need to do when you're the team in the power position. Um, but for the Hollywood Superstars, for them, you know, I'd like to see some sort of big play. Like, when you're the team that's not as good in the DMs area, you need to sort of jump big and try and hope that you can turn some heads and maybe distract some people and shoot them in the back or something. Uh, as Hollywood Superstars, they were, were able to do that on one of the mids and convert that into a round win, but past that, it's been pretty one-sided. Yeah. This place, please? It seems like during the last, uh, the last map on, on Badlands, it looked like we actually kept the five. We didn't do any half times at all because it was full, it, we actually wanted to play the full five rounds. We didn't switch sides at all, so maybe there's a configuration error on our part. But nevertheless, we have the half times now. 
This could give. This should give. Uh, Hollywood superstars the much needed time they need to rework their strategies and see what they can do to uh, counter the aggressiveness of Power Rangers. Because you see right now, the Power Rangers are getting the height advantage over Hollywood superstars, and they're just not able to uh, defend against the uh, height advantage that they have. Yeah, well, I mean, despite all that money and all that fame that they have, they're really having a hard time fighting these superheroes. I mean, uh, they're just everyday guys that, with not that many superpowers, and it looks like they're going to need some sort of uh, some sort of major comeback here if they want to turn this match around. They're going to have to go Megazord mode on the uh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, we should be getting underway here on the second half, and... Uh, Again, looking at the scoreboard here, Ninja and Power Mangoes for the Power Rangers have been doing so much work. Uh, we've been saying it all match here, but the two of them have just been destroying mids, whether it's be cl cleaning up or opening fights. They seem to be very versatile. Meanwhile, you can see on the other side, for the Hollywood superstars, Robert De Niro and, Steve and uh, Liam Neeson are having some problems there uh, and actually getting carried by their demo man. So. Yeah, it looks like we're going live here pretty shortly with just with uh, the, the administrator giving out the uh, good lucks and everything on uh, console. Yeah, Aristotle just, and Master doing a good job here holding down the fort for us. Uh, yeah, and we also what usually when you see on uh, during our match during our matches we have one administrator watching all the matches just to make sure that everything goes according to plan, make sure that there's nothing really fishy going on. And, yeah, they've been doing a good job with us so far. And Power Mango's having some free time here, able to chat with our stream viewers. <laughs> power, keep up the good work. Apparently, you are just the, the best. You are a Power Ranger. You're a hero <laughs> for your team. And, uh, I don't know, though. I always favored the... Uh, well, I'm Asian, so I favored the Yellow Ranger, just like Power Mango's. But uh, I also like the Pink Ranger as well. I don't know, what about you, what about you Fog? Which one was your favorite Power Ranger? Uh, I like the, I like the White Power Ranger the, the most. Yeah. White Power Ranger, he's like, he wasn't, wasn't he the leader? Or was it the Red Power Ranger? It was the Red Power Ranger, the White person tried, the White Power Ranger tried to uh, smack off the other one. <laughs> oh, right. Eric Stone was actually uh, telling us that he loves us all. So he has the dice factor in him today. I wouldn't want to catch him on his bad side though. <laughs> Nobody wants to catch up on his bad side. <laughs> uh, Aristotle just responded to me on Steve chat. This is, that's awesome. Hi, Aristotle. I, I see what you saw. I, I see it. Uh, Falk, what did you think about you know the decision to go crits for that uh, one round that Brad Pitt tried to do it? It looked like they were trying to get anything to uh, help them get the advantage that they're looking for. They were trying. They were kind of almost out of options there because everything else that they were doing right now, uh, Hollywood superstars, was just not really working out for them so far. Yeah. And uh, even though their, well, their crits was successful to a certain degree, they were able to drop Singer PA, right? And uh, didn't they end up yeah. winning that round? So. Uh, no. Uh, oh, that, was... that was the round where. Uh, Despite dropping their medic there, they just weren't able to follow up on the frags, and they they pretty much almost wiped that point there. And we, there we go. We see the the going live for the second half. Right now, the score is four to one for Power Rangers on the second map of Snakewater, and what it is the TFT Pug Grand Finals. And uh, Steve Buscemi again beating out White Power Jesus to mid. As the Hollywood superstars moving in again, early aggression from the Power Rangers taking out Brad Pitt and Power Mangoes moving in to finish that off takes out Robert De Niro and Kate Bach and Power Rangers again with that early bomb is just proving to be so strong for them and Hollywood superstars don't know how to deal with it. Uh, it's only he, uh, as Anthony Hopkins gets taken out by Ninja. It's only Liam Neeson and Steve Buscemi. Steve's all the way out and Brad Pitt's just spawning right now. Power Rangers, 80% uber advantage for them. They're going to be able to take the second point with ease. There's no trap setup actually for Steve Buscemi. He gets taken out by Ninja, and that's 
very bad for the Hollywood superstars. They're not going to have a demo man on this last hold. Power Rangers going to take advantage of that. Robert De Niro switches to heavy. Uh, they're going to need some more off class if they're going to have any chance here to hold this last point. Power Rangers moving in through that right side. They knew there wasn't a trap. Nice play by them. White Power Jesus takes out Robert De Niro. Ninja takes out Anthony Hopkins. And Ninja takes out. This is starting to look like a big game here. And it is right now. The final score at 5 to 1. And we have Power Rangers winning the grand finals for TFT Pug Tournament. They're going to receive the grand prize of $175 for its team. With uh, second place. Uh, Hollywood Superstar is coming away with $125. Not not too shabby for uh, uh -huh. their showing on this uh, tournament. They're, they had a pretty good first couple rounds of, of uh, in the single elimination bracket, so... Yeah, I was really <laughs> well... Zero. I mean, it's a really well-played match by the Power Rangers. They were in control the entire time throughout both of these maps. Uh, winning, you know, 5-0 on Badlands and 5-1 on Snake Water. There's not, not much else you can ask for from them. And uh, it was really well played, and congratulations to the Power Rangers. So, And that, that about wraps up our cast here of the TF2 Pug Cup. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. Fog, do you have any shout-outs? I do. I'd like to give a special shout-out to Command Shadow on their hard work in this and offering relatively new teams cash without paying a cent as a prize. We had a, It was a no-fee entry to get into this tournament. I'd also give a shout out to the Pug and A staff for working so hard at getting this together, monitoring my matches, scheduling, and making sure the tournament ran smoothly. And lastly, I'd like to give a huge shout out to all the teams in the special in the Pug tournament. From me, Arist and Aristotle, or from Aristotle, you guys were de dedicated. We barely held any teams that had any teams that folded. Matches were exciting, and everyone was great in their conduct. We hope that in the future that we can bring you guys more events like this, and we'd love to you guys to participate once again. That was from Aristotle. Uh, the uh, head admin for TFT Pocket A. Oh, that's awesome. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, XTV. I'd like to thank you guys for joining us on this cast. We always cast 6v6 matches as well as Highlander, especially on Mondays. So if you guys were able to catch out any of the other casts today, uh, that's great. Uh, we also have the ESEA LAN coming up, our big 6v6 North American uh, sort of finals between the top four teams in North America. That'll be November 16th through the 18th. So mark that one on your calendars. It's definitely one to watch. We're Always one of the biggest uh, esports at the EACA LAN. And uh, I'd also like you guys to check out my stream as well, uh, www.twitch.tv slash Mr. Slynn. Uh, should be going live after this cast. So, uh, Thanks for casting with me, Fog. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya. See you guys. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs>